I'm going down to the river, just me and my old king pole. I'm going down to the river, me and my old king pole. I don't ever catch much, but it sure is good for my soul. Well, now since my baby left me, I can't stand to stay at home. Yes, yeah, since my baby left me, I can't stand to stay at home, Lord, Lord. She said she couldn't stand it either. Guess that's why she had to roam. Hi, and welcome to Kelly, where we talk about life, your life, and my life. And through Kelly, we hope to inspire. I have Mike Watson on the show from the Mike Watson Band, and you are a singer songwriter, so we're going to talk about music. The song was amazing. Love it. I love, I love country music. You know, growing up from the South, and country music, I love country music that tells stories. And it was just beautiful. Um, so you were six years old when you started playing? I was. I was. Uh, my earliest memory before that, I guess, I was grew up in a musical family somewhat. And uh, so I couldn't imagine. I don't remember really when I didn't play or try to play. Uh-huh. You know, so. so and guitar uh, was always like, that caught my eye from my earliest memories. I thought I've got to do that. Okay, so, so how many song? I mean, how many albums do you? Uh, these well, those are the two most recent. Uh, Down the River is a studio CD I did in Nashville a few years ago, and the um, Catch the Groove Live is the uh, one we cut out at Mad Life Studios in Woodstock at, toward the end of last year. So okay, that's what the so people, live how do people is. find your music? MikeWatsonBand.com. Okay, wonderful. Um, so you are a band, so this uh, this show is about education, so we're going to talk about putting a band together, the struggles of having a band, keeping a band, and running a band. It can be a task. <laughs> <laughs> <At times. laughs> yeah, I always, I always tell Diego, my husband, that being married is like Siamese twins. You know, one pulls this way, one oh, pulls yeah. this way. So being a band, you're like, a, you know, the multiple... It's the, kind of a, the art of negotiation, I guess. The, the art of <laughs> yes, the art yes. Of so. Um, so, what are some struggles of of, of keeping a band together? Well, now, I've been very fortunate mm -hmm. because I've uh, been around Atlanta and I traveled and worked on Nashville for years, so I met a lot of people. Right. But it can be a challenge, you know. I've had guys to quit. And it was all good. They went on to something better or whatever. Uh huh. And getting the the right replacement can be the hardest thing. The dy dynamic, yeah. damn it, the dynamics and the chemistry. And you, yeah, and you go through a lot of people, and, and uh, it's always good players, but there's got to be that that fit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it's, uh, you get discouraged, but you really can't give up. I mean, if that's what you're going to do. Right. You know? And uh, a lot of times it's word of mouth. Just talk to people and go out. If you're looking for a guitar player, bass player, whatever, you know, whatever, whether you need a singer or guitarist or maybe somebody plays accordion which uh -huh. I don't but you know <laughs> uh -huh. so how did you there, how did you, you end know. up being uh because you're your lead singer mm -hmm. right so how did you end up being lead singer did you just well I sang all my life my mom and her sister sang in church when they were prior to me of course but you know so if so you're kind of grew up in it and then I started playing just guitar really as a side man we call it just okay. a hired gun you know uh -huh. so to speak and, and uh, I don't know, one thing led to another over the years, and I started singing more and got more confident. And so the the big thing about using my name, I tell people it took me a long time to come up with that name. The uh -huh. Mike Watson Band is so original. <laughs> 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 but really what happened, though, was I had a producer in Nashville in 84, and he said, you need to drop the band name. Because every time we come up with a good name, we'd go out under that, you know, and you get business cards, and it's a little easier now than it was back then. It was expensive. Right. So you're getting your promo pictures, blah, blah, blah. Well, next week, the guy that came up with the name leaves the band. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, I'm taking the name with me. Oh, well, great. So anyway, the struggles. My producer, See, that's what I'm talking that's about, right. the struggles. So my producer back then said, why don't you make it simple, like mm -hmm. Charlie Daniels or somebody, and call it Mike Watson Band. Mm -hmm. So it's been that way since 1985. So, so as it is the Mike Watson Band, you're really, you're, you really run 
the whole band. Pretty much, but don't tell my guys. I <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what venues do you play? I play mainly guitar. I played trombone all my life, but oh. that kind of fell to the wayside. Okay, so, yeah. but but what locations are you oh, playing? Oh, locations. Yeah. I'm sorry. We're mm, in Atlanta, kind of pretty much all over Georgia. We'll be a, we do some shows in the Carolinas sometimes. Okay. We'll be in Durham, North Carolina. This is a big private event in July. Okay. And so we're kind of all around. Okay. Yeah. So as we're getting older, because I'm getting older too, and um, what is the, you know, do you, do you find that you're still as excited about playing, or do you find that your energy level gives out easier? That's a loaded question. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a... Uh, well, I think it's like any job after you've done it so many years. I still love it. Yeah. You, know? and, you have uh, to or you wouldn't keep doing it. And there's times, it. you know, I, I find the 90-minute concert show is much more appealing these days, you mm -hmm, know, than, mm -hmm. uh, say, a four-hour set in a bar. Right. <laughs> so, but, it's, but it's all good. Yeah. You know? I, I find that, too. People tell me often, they say, well, you know, you're so blessed because you get to live your passion. And I'm like, well, my passion feels like an awful lot of work because <laughs> okay. nobody, nobody, you know, nobody sees the behind the scenes right, right. of what goes in. I mean, when you, when, with a band, you're moving all that equipment. Moving equipment in and out. And, uh, of course, sometimes you've got roadies or whatever, but. Depends on what it's paying. Right. You know? so, right. You know, if you so can afford to that. pay those roadies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the part I don't enjoy the older I get. Yeah. You know? But it's, uh, so that's like I tell people, I said, I said, man, you get to do what you want to do and you get paid. I said, I don't get paid for playing. Yeah. What do you mean? I said, we get paid for booking the gigs, driving to them, letting load equipment, setting up, tearing it back down, loading it back up. Yeah. Right. I said, the music's free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bonus. Yeah, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, I, I like people to know the hardships. You know, when we we do things because I mean, people who are are doing it, uh, there, there's got to be the love for it. Oh sure. Yeah. Because you can you can desire to be somewhere, but if the if the love doesn't sustain you, it's got to sustain you through the hard times. It really is like a relationship. Oh yeah. And so during those hard times, it, you got to love it enough to get through it. Yeah, there was hard times years ago when I was first starting out, mm -hmm. financially and emotionally and everything. But you, you know, you kind of, you just kind of got to. Yeah, because if you keep, if you keep it, moving, you know, you're yeah. going to build an audience, and yeah, you're going to so build what you need to. You know, and I was fortunate, a lot of luck and blessings, I guess. Too, yeah. But uh, it was. Uh, and talent, you got a likable personality. Oh, so thanks. I Thank mean, that much. goes a long, that goes a long way. When you're when you're dealing with people and people, you know, you got a uh, uh, an easy personality. People people like that. So um, I am. This is for you. Your gift in life. Thank you very much. Thank you for blessing us with with your music. Um, some advice to give to someone who is. You, I want you to think back during those really hard times when you're first starting out. Uh, what is some advice to give to somebody who's trying to get a band together? And they're having problems with the elements and keeping it. The biggest thing is just don't give up. You know, it's, a lot of it's networking. And it's easier now than ever, mm -hmm. of course, with the Internet and so forth. But the biggest thing is just, you know, go out and meet. Most musicians, I think, are like me. Mm -hmm. That's been doing it some time. And, and we usually know people that know people that know people. So, you know, just don't let the little things get in the way of your end goal, I would say. Yeah. yeah. And do you have, like, for me, even within my studio, um, I've had to tear t things down a couple of times because they didn't, they didn't end up with a feel that I wanted, wanted it to end up, you know, like, like we're starting a class or whatever, and it has just, the feel isn't right. What? And so you have to kind of say, okay, you have to wipe it away and go, this mm -hmm. isn't working and start, and start over. That's the same way in the studio even. With the band, putting a band together, or in the studio, you know, you go in with a with an idea in your head and you start recording. And just something like something's not right, uh -huh. you know. And sometimes my drummer may come up with saying, "Well, let's try let's try this rhythm or this lick, you know, uh -huh. or bass player, whoever, you know, the keyboard player." And all of a sudden, it's like, "Yeah, yeah, that's you just it. have to keep <laughs> playing with and it." And I didn't think of that, so you know, it's a group effort regardless of who runs yeah. it, you know. Yeah. So it's, uh, and Mike, you have an event coming up. I do. September seventh will be at Copeland Hall in Bowden, Georgia. Okay, awesome. And tickets will be available online. All right. I'll be adding a couple of saxophone players to the show. Awesome. Excellent. They've been with me before, and so it's uh, 
going to be a really good show we're looking forward okay, to. Okay, guys, Bowden, Georgia. Where do people follow you? MikeWatsonBand.com. MikeWatsonBand.com. And that works for Twitter and Facebook. It's just Mike Watson Band, So Okay, awesome. Pretty, pretty easy to be found. So, All right. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for well, introducing for yourself you. and, and being here on the Kelly Talk Show. We'd love to follow you as you go along. So every once in a while, give me a call, and, we'll, do and we'll have you back in. All right. We, think, we, we hope that this segment educated and inspired you.